Hey, this is Farmer Teacher on Farming Simulator 22, and we have today a cedar. This is uh, one of the ones I think is probably the best cedar medium grade, or medium size upgrade uh, that you can get. Look at this thing, such a beauty. It is from the Horse Aggravation Pack. Horse Aggravation Pack. Uh, but it's a nice piece of gear. Let me just show you on the menu why I think it's one of the best. Uh, if we go in here to Cedars. Now normally you start, you know, with one of these little small ones there on your farm. And as your farm gets bigger, you need an upgrade. Uh, this is not much of an upgrade and you need 220 horsepower for that. So what I try to do is save my money and jump over to maybe the Pottinger. Uh, Pottinger, you need 210 horsepower. Uh, it's six meters wide, goes nine miles an hour. It both seeds and fertilizes, and you have the possibility to seed directly uh, without cultivating on some crops in some cases. So this is normally my next logical choice once I get the money and have enough horsepower, you know, a tractor that'll pull that. However, after looking at the horse, check this out. <clears throat> Okay, the Horse Pronto 6DC, okay, part of the Horse Aggravation Pack. It is also nine, or I'm sorry, is also six meters wide, but it goes 11 miles an hour, so two miles an hour faster, and you need only 200 horsepower to pull it, so 10 less. So you need 10 less horsepower, it goes two miles an hour faster. And you know from farming, if you can get two more miles an hour out of something like a cedar, uh, it's going to make your farming time go a lot faster. And it seeds and fertilizes, just like the Pottinger. And you also have the possibility to seed directly uh, without previously cultivating on some crops. Now, if you go to buy this thing, uh, the caveat here, the caution, it says 106. However, your standard configuration doesn't come with a fertilizer. So what you got to do on your tank setup up top, scroll to the right until you see fertilizer and seeds. So you have two choices uh, that do both. You got this one for 113.5 and you got this one for 117. Okay, so those are your choices that do both seeding and fertilization. <clears throat> so we have the smaller one there right here. And let's, if you go back to the map real quick, I forgot to mention this. Uh, if you look at the symbols on the bottom there, okay, look at the symbols on the bottom. It shows seeds and it shows that fertilization symbol is for solid fertilizer. Uh, the liquid fertilizer one looks like a little uh, two gallon bottle or something. Uh, so what we're gonna do is go back to the menu here and purchase some solid fertilizer right there. Purchase that. We're going to purchase some seeds. All right, let's fill this guy up. Open the cover. So you get real close to your seeds. Your little thing, refill cedar should pop up. So if you're on console, push it on the left joystick and it's putting in seeds. Look at that. Now I'm gonna back up, get close to the fertilizer. And we are putting in fertilizer here in just a second. Here we go. All right, what we're gonna do is run down to a field. I'm gonna show you how this puppy operates. See you in just a second. Okay, this is our cedar. We're at a cultivated field and we're planting canola. It is August. So let's open this little guy up and see how it does. Uh, once again, you need 200 horsepower to pull it. This is on the horse aggravation pack. It's six meters wide and goes 11 miles an hour. I'm a little bit to the right there. rather be a little bit to the right than not far enough, I guess. All right, let's see how the swath looks on the six meter one coming up. 
Now it does say in the specs that it can cultivate uh, and seed, or you can seed directly at least without cultivating. I just want to see this swath here. Now look how much faster that's going than a standard. Uh, and you'll certainly see it on a bigger field because they have a chance to accelerate and get up to speed more. Uh, but he's going 11 miles an hour there. Uh, remember, the Optima only goes uh, 9. All right, so now we're going to jump over. I want to show you a field that has not been cultivated. Okay, this field has been harvested but not cultivated. So if it's able to do it and you hit B on console to let the AI, you know, go do its thing, it will work. If it won't work, okay, that's the AI, so it must be working. If it won't work, then the AI won't let you do it. So look at that. That's what it looks like uh, in a field that's not cultivated. So this will save you some time. And so if you think about it, if you're doing like a plant like canola, it's going to cultivate, seed, and fertilize. Uh, and it's six meters wide, 11 miles an hour. So this is a great piece of gear, a uh, great upgrade for your farm. So that's all I wanted to show you. Uh, don't forget to share the channel. If you like what you're seeing, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already so you won't miss anything. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.